Capricorn, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for 16th of November 2020. Um, it's the Spirit Animal Oracle, Moontology Oracle, Past, Present, Future Energies, all clarified, and finished with the Star Temple Oracle. General reading only, so take with you what resonates and check your um, Sun, Moon, Rising sign, any number synchronicities if they mean anything, and also cross watches are welcome. So um, Saturday I've got a competition running for a free giveaway 2021 reading. It's more in depth, I type up the oracle meanings for all of them and do the number synchronicities as well, um, look into them. So um, it's a comment competition because I'm not getting many comments. I've had three or four since I started. I think this is my third or fourth week. So <coughs> sorry, I'm going to ask a question and I'll probably even give multiple choice answers so you don't even have to really think about it. And um, and you just have to comment. Leave, leave the answer in the comment and you're in for the draw. So it'll run for a week and um, this week's been super crazy. I've done all the monthly readings for December, so they're going to be uploaded on Friday. And um, But it's been a crazy week trying to do the weeklies and all those monthlies. And um, had a change of hours at work, so that's thrown me out of the loop a bit too. And Yeah, but it is what it is. So Capricorn, I'm going to begin 16th of November 2020 I'm sure all week I've been saying Scorpio I had to redo because I did their monthly reading for December 2016 which was kind of old <laughs> um, and I think I'd been getting the 16th of November for the weekly readings and then I got 16 there and I'm sure some weekly readings I've said December the 16th for the week off and it's like no Anyway, <laughs> love this. You get number one. Animal spirit. Look how many there are. Capricorn. Look how many animal ones. You got number one. Love it though, because it's ant spirit. Time to collaborate. Look at those ants working hard. Workaholics. Ants. So, um, but it's time to collaborate. That's very much a three of pentacles card where you may need to um, be involved with somebody else to build a solid foundation and um, and collaborate plan plan what's going on before you begin right so mentology for you Capricorn you get the full moon in Gemini the answers you need are coming <coughs> I've got a frog on my throat sorry Time to collaborate because the answers you need are coming. Yes, Capricorn, love that. Okay, so let's begin. <laughs> See what you have. be dealing with an Aquarius you get the stars so um, your wishes are coming true okay you there's something that you're wishing and hoping for okay and with a bit of collaboration your wishes can come true here so um, the past energy you get strength justice and ten of swords so a bit of a shitty past maybe for some of you it's taken strength to get past all this pain here but that is at the end of that cycle there and there is justice here as well so good karma reward for your effort and things like that so um, I don't know what's going on in the past but that is still back here We're going into the present energy is the Emperor six of swords and the ace of wands 
love that card could be dealing with an Aries and um, all the kings combined brave strong heroic courageous determined everything stability and in control of a situation core of your reading in the middle is the six of swords which is a movement card it is moving forward some some say it's um movement overseas and some is done in secrecy and even this is done look at night time so um it doesn't have to be relationship could be that you're applying for a job you don't want others to know about and things like that so um that is a movement forward card though it's here with the ace of wands which is either an apology card that's owed or due and that gives you this new inspiration of where you want to be where you want to go and um, new chapter new vision love it okay future energy is the two of cups five of swords and the four of wands okay so somebody here there's love here for you and um, they want to be on this journey with you it's been a battle and I say the five of swords I actually like it because it is a battle and it's a victory card though so yes you've gone through it all and um, that you have up here and you've come out with a victory you either walk away from it, it's not serving you anymore this fight and that's a victory and also you stay and fight for what you believe in that's a victory either way there's a stability and commitment card here to finish with could be a step up in um, commitment of some sort for a couple, uh, marriage proposal or engagement, moving in, new new relationship even. Okay, but again, could be around work if you're applying for this job and you're doing it in secrecy even to move forward. Um, could be a job that's offering the stability there. So love that Capricorn, awesome. And the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. weeks I'm gonna see what that card was it may pertain to you as well I've got three in here I think so from when I packed up the last clarifications I oh know just I oh know it's three Queen of Swords Prince of Cups Ten of Pentacles they may mean something to you as well so um, make sure I get them up the right way <laughs> Right, we will carry on. The star, we're clarifying. Three of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Justice. Beautiful clarification. Whatever this pain is that you've had, could be a third party involved. Um, could be personal for some of you, and it could be at work. Somebody's claiming your success, anything like that. This is moving forward for you, okay? Your wishes are coming true wheels turning in your favor justice karma <laughs> always say if that's a personal one take it it's karma <laughs> but there's justice here good karma for you reward for your effort okay so we'll try and clarify the strength in the past energies <coughs> oh I'm coughing all through this eight of cups four of pentacles seven of pentacles okay strength take strength to walk away from something that doesn't serve you anymore okay but as we said with the five of swords that's still a victory four of pentacles it causes you to hold things within nothing wrong with that this card is still maintaining the balance with that four of pentacles there okay but working hard on yourself getting everything together everything's falling into place now okay so from walking away somebody's walked away from something and it's allowed everything to now fall back into place so we're going to look at justice here and this clarify eight of swords ace of swords nine of swords a lot of swords there and um okay so 
mindset of not being able to move forward this is um, if you take the blindfold off you'll see there's nothing actually blocking your path there okay sick of all the crap that's happened and starting for this new beginning and new chapter with honesty openness clarity making your intentions clear okay it always comes with overthinking anything new or walking away from anything or trying to fix this of course comes with overthinking stress anxiety of sorts okay but there is reward coming that's what we're clarifying and it's probably coming with this new beginning here okay love it so we're going to clarify this ten of swords and as I said that pain is coming to the end now that's that's the end of the cycle ace of pentacles strength knight of pentacles so this brand new beginning as I said take strength to finish something and start something new okay but look how bright and shiny that new beginning is there okay something is coming towards you um, but it is very slow moving patience is required it's saying patience is a virtue I'm not a very patient person <laughs> it's like well, I want things now <laughs> when you can own up to it you can laugh about it and um, I do I laugh at myself all the time but it's like yeah I want things now I want comments <laughs> so, <laughs> so okay we're going to the emperor and your present energy is the eight of pentacles knight of swords three of wands love that okay a lot of focus on work whether that's working on yourself or whether that's working on your job okay because i'm clarifying the emperor so there is that strength and capability capability behind you and there's the <laughs> there's wanting things now don't act hastily okay but um yeah seeing things for what they are the bigger picture some of you could be seeing someone for who they are and for some of you it could be seeing something for what it is but either way you're seeing things clear it's a bigger picture and you've got that emperor stability got your back could be dealing with a father figure there Okay, so Six of Swords, which is a movement card, Page of Wands, Empress, Queen of Wands. So you've got visions and goals and you can see them coming towards you now. And you've got your head held high and you can see into the distance to see what's coming towards you. Okay, very aware of what's going on with yourself and around you and with others. Okay, love that. Determination and confidence and courage to go after what you believe in okay so somebody's definitely got goals and visions here and um, they're very aware of what they are and there might be need to collaborate to make this happen and to bring this into vision and into reality okay but it is a movement forward card overall where you're actually you are moving forward love it You've got that wheel of fortune overall here for the week okay that's moving you forward that's propelling you forward so i've got this ace of wands three of pentacles king of wands high priestess what did i say with ant spirits okay that's a three of pentacles card so here you go this new beginning this new chapter new vision of where you want to be collaboration building that solid foundation but planning planning and detail involved there okay again still holding something in nothing wrong with that but very aware of what's going on around you and king of wands there's that you've got a lot of wands along your present energy so there's the vision the goal confidence determination um, very much in control of where you want to be and what you want to be doing beautiful love that capricorn so go to your future energy is the two of cups queen of cups the fall the chariot wow so you may be needing to take a chance on love here somebody wants to be with you on this journey very loving energy turn that off that's my alarm sorry to so it's nearly time to go to work not yet though so um queen of cups very loving energy there love it beautiful okay two of cups that is with and but you may need to take a chance in order to move forward freely you may need to take a chance on love around these cards 
for some of you Capricorn. So we're going into the Five of Swords, which is the battle card, but I always say victory. And I love it on this pack because the Roman numeral five is the V. V for victory. Love it. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands. Beautiful. Okay, so here comes this offer. Could be from a younger person, younger energy. Doesn't have to be, but... Um, but definitely somebody that wants to come in and work with you. They're confident that they're able to work with you. And again, it could be this time to collaborate. It could be with, with this younger energy here. Okay, it's going to release a lot of pain. Maybe you've been taking on a lot at work for some of you. You've been taking all the all that load and it's caused you a lot of pain. It's not, not helping. But here, persistence, don't give up because with that collaboration, and that planning and working together, teamwork, okay, don't give up, persistence pays off. Beautiful, and we're gonna finish with this four of wands, stability and commitments. Remember back here we're on love, take a chance on love, stability here and commitment of some sort. So for some of you could be, could be that. <laughs> Right, so, Magician, <laughs> Two of Cups, <laughs> The Hangman, somebody's not ready to make that decision yet, okay, but you're manifesting this happiness and stability with somebody, <laughs> there is love there, so, um, you know, we're going for the stability and commitment here, somebody's wanting that to very much happen, but there is also somebody that's sitting on the fence and not too sure yet, it's not that they've walked away, they haven't said no, um, but as well again could be a job that you love or anything and somebody's just on that journey with you and it's a decision do I take that could be a job in another town where you're gonna have to move and things like that but for some of you it's it is love <laughs> around love <laughs> so Capricorn that's what we have and we're gonna see what the universe has to say for you Four of Swords, King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Love it. Healing, self-healing. Nothing wrong with that. Everybody needs to do it and take time to themselves. Okay, the stability, the confidence, the bravery and cor courageous um, to go for what you believe in. Making things very clear. A very upfront person here or energy and um, yeah, and control brand new beginning ace of pentacles love that one okay very brand new bright fortunate lucky shiny i'm sure you had that up here yes okay how shiny it is love it it's beautiful so capricorn that's what we have there and we're now going to do the star temple oracle for you the answers you need are coming full moon and gemini okay be around what's this indecision too for that commitment of some sort. <laughs> Just <saying. laughs> right, Capricorn. You have somebody else. Just got this before too. Thirty-two. The Star Daughters dance. I dance, sing, and play with my sisters at sunset. Love it. Beautiful. Might not have been that one. No. That's very much like a Six of Pentacles card too. It's like the happy memories and everything. Playful energy. Star words. Light-hearted, soul tribe, celebration. The Star Daughters are heartening you to have some playful fun to connect and collaborate with friends that are on the same wavelength as you. Your vibe attracts your tribe. I love that saying. So vibe high, dear heart. Laughing, chatting and co-creating magic together is intoxicating alchemy. Attuned connection amplifies and magnifies magical synergy. 
cohesive devotion to unity, oneness and equality is powerful collective medicine. When we come together, miracles happen. Be with people who celebrate each other's achievements and raise your sisters up high. Collaboration. Working together. Love it Capricorn. So that's what I have for you. Um, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when the readings do come out. And um, leave a comment. I always say practice for the comment competition on Saturday. <laughs> Make sure you're back for that. And um, yeah, be in that reading. In, in that draw for that reading. So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.